Hello everyone, my name is Silverwolf, and welcome back to Factorio. As I promised in the last episode, vengeance. Vengeance is coming this time. We will not be pushed around by annoying neighbours. We will show them what happens when you break my stuff. It does not go well. Why have I got a troll on this line? Go away. Right. There's not enough bricks coming up that line, is there? No, because they're being stolen here. Okay. That's not great for my wall production. That's something else I need to fix. But that's for later. First of all, we're going to go and take out the base, or nest, or whatever you want to call it, of those gits that have been coming in and attacking my stuff. Because I'm sick of it. I have had a gutful, and I'm now going to go and teach them a lesson. Because they have destroyed my stuff, and let me tell you, I don't like having my stuff destroyed. Look at this. They almost took out one of my turrets. Absolute jerks. Build some repair kits. We'll do some repairs here whilst we're at it. Come on, hurry up. I got stuff to do. There is vengeance. My vengeance will not wait forever. Lucky we came through at this point. Fine, build night vision, I don't care. Or research night vision, whatever. Alright, we'll just do some quick repairs along here. We'll go down the bottom and just double check everything's going alright down there. And then it's vengeance time. Yeesh. They're really doing a fair bit of damage now. Lucky I now have that uh, armor piercing ammo going. So some of these turrets haven't even fired. Um, I probably don't ever want that equipment, because belt immunity is kind of dumb. Like, the idea is that you can never be moved by, like, whilst you have this in your armor, you can't be moved by conveyor belts. Which makes sense in theory, but when you consider that conveyor belts make you faster as well, if you're going in the right direction. So, to me, it seems kind of dumb. But... You know, whatever. Okay, so the next thing I need to do, well, after I've gone and taken vengeance on these jerks... Right. We are going to go and find these absolute turkeys. And we're going to show them... The error of their ways. We're going to show them what happens. Which, in, hi in reality, this is probably a pretty dumb idea. Because, like... Fighting them, upgrade like uh, attacking them actually makes them evolve. But I need to deal with them; otherwise, they're just gonna keep attacking me. So we're gonna leave that there as a fallback point. Really, of all the times for you to pop up. So that's that base dealt with.
Now a lot of them are screaming for ammo and that's fine. I know they're all low on ammo, but we're not going to refill them because they don't matter. Because we're just ripping them all up at this point. The good thing is, even with killing all of those, we didn't run out of... Oh, sorry, we didn't lose any turrets at all. We did take some damage on them, and that's always going to happen. But damage is always repairable, so it doesn't really matter. I really don't like having this gap here. I might even fill this in, to be honest. Even though I just used it, I kind of just... I don't like having open ways into my base when these absolute turkeys can just show up out of nowhere. Because if they came in this way, there would be nothing to stop them. Did they attack again whilst I was gone? Really? Alright. That gets the pressure off us again for a while. So, the next step is we need to get better science. We need to move on to blue science and military grade science packs. Military will help us with our military research, so getting into rocketry, uh, where are we? Not mining productivity. Uh, rocketry is a big one, energy shields, flamethrowers, like, just generally better stuff. Um, military 3 gives us access to a lot of stuff. So you can see that, it gives a combat shotgun. Also, poison capsules, which must be a new thing, because I've never actually used those before. Um, so that's kind of cool. And then, as you can see, blue science will get us into, like, advanced material smelting, mining productivity. That's a new icon. I like that. Um, and that sort of thing. And eventually nuclear power. Uh, uranium processing, and then into nuclear power. But I also want to try and get laser turrets going. So you can see here, laser... So for this one, we need blue science, which gets us into laser, and then we need military science as well, which will uh, give us laser turrets, which we can then put up, which are really nice. And you can see energy weapons damage. They've changed the icon on those as well. That's really nice. I, I really like that they keep updating the game and like little things that you don't often see, like the pictures and the research that they change, and it's, it's really nice. Okay, so... That being said, we need sulfur, we need advanced circuits, and we need en engine units. So, engine, um, advanced circuits needs plastic, and plastic needs petroleum gas, which we're already crafting. Sulfur also needs petroleum gas, but it also needs water. And engines just need steel. Steel, pipes, and iron gear wheels. Which is just, well, it's all just iron and steel, so that's fine. So they're the easy part. We can do engines. What we can't do just yet is plastics, because we haven't started crafting them, or sulfur. But part of what I got set up down here is petroleum gas, which currently we're turning it all into solid fuel, but we don't need that much solid fuel at this point in the game. So I can easily change some of these over. Like maybe these three. But I need to get coal down here. So where am I getting coal from currently? I know there's coal over in the other, like, off to the, like, the top right. But I don't really want to do that just yet. Um. Can I just pick something up? Whoops. I didn't know I could do that. Huh. Okay, I can press Q to copy that. You learn something new every day. <laughs> Alright. So we've got coal coming from up here. Or rather, no, it's splitting off from there. It's actually coming from here. And we're running coal everywhere. 
But I think for a lot of this stuff, we can actually stop using coal. Like here, I could just put a splitter on there and just use solar fuel. So let's turn that one off. And that'll then give us a bit more freedom with our coal. So what we're going to do here is put a splitter in. I do have a splitter, excellent. Put that there. Then we'll run this. There. Now what this will do, all this coal will drain off eventually. As these guys use it all. And it will become, and then it'll get replaced by solid fuel. So that's fine, we can ignore that now. Alright, next step. There is not enough stone coming up here. And we don't have enough stone, which means that we're not getting enough... Uh, we're not, we're not getting enough, um, cooked stone, or stone blocks, I don't know what it's called. Stone bricks, maybe. I can't do anything about it because there's not any more coal down here, okay. Um... Fine. Such is life, I guess I'll have to deal with it for now. Alright. So where am I at for advanced smelting? Uh, sorry, advanced uh, fluid processing. Uh, I don't think I can do that yet, can I? Where is advanced... Right. <laughs> All new icons everywhere. Okay, so for that I need blue science. Okay, so I need to start creating... Alright. So I need to bring coal down here. That's that's the next step. Let's just clear some trees out of the way. Stupid nature, get out of my way. Alrighty. Trees are out of the way. These ones aren't really in the way, but they're covering stuff that I can that I need to see, so they're close enough to being in the way. Why did I make that so big? Alright. Belt immunity, we may as well get it just for the sake of, of building it. Alright, so now that we've got this copper line, sorry, coal line, not copper, doy, that we've built. I can just run it down here. And then take it down. Put that down. Okay, that. See, like I said, I think I've said this before, but having a damaged version of that item in your inventory actually takes up a separate slot to the rest of it, which is bad. Well, it's bad for the sake of inventory management. Because you then are using up an extra space. Why didn't I just make all these go straight? That would have been much smarter. In fact, we're just going to do that now.
I, I know I'm nitpicking a bit at this point, but the reason I'm doing this is just to tidy things up to make more space. I don't really need that space at this point, but soon, probably. Especially when we're doing more crafting down here. Oh crap, 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 crap. Stop. Right. there stone bricks inside of here all right that's fine so it'll just unload all my stone bricks there see how much tidier that looks we don't have that massive, like, no, here's this big gap for no reason. There may well have been a reason for it, but that was previous me's problem. And today's me has no idea what the problem was, so, yeah. Too bad, so sad. Alrighty, now. Uh, where are my belts? There they are. Bring the coal down. So I don't need to make- okay, right, it's the opposite. Sulfuric acid is made from sulfur. Right, that's fine. So I need to get water here somehow. And plast- and coal. Now, you can stop. Um, for now I'll probably go three on plastics. And then I might make some extra ones to do. Alright, so they're all running, they're maxed out, all of them. So I can easily put down more of these to make more production. Like, I've got plenty of room down here to do that. Ah, uh, so what we're gonna do... ...is that one. Um... Filter. Where is it? Solid fuel. So this is going to be a bit manual initially. See, we've got masses and masses of solid fuel. We, we really don't need that much at this point. That's fine. So yeah, initially this is going to be a bit manual because what I'm going to do is just manually put all the plastics into a box and then move them up, but it's only a temporary solution until I can get something better worked out. Alright, iron gear, wheel, gear wheel's just sitting there. Is this all steel? It is steel. We'll take that. Simulators we don't care about. Parts for modular armor, which we can do modular armor at this point, okay. 
Uh, sorting at 6, 30%. Fire, 0, 40%. Explosion, 30, 35. Acid, 0, 50. Has an equipment grid in it. Okay. What have I got at the moment? I got a heavy armor. Heavy armor, okay. Twenty thirty 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 five. 30, 30, okay, so it is slightly better. Physical 630, 630, okay. Inventory size bonus plus 10. That's that doesn't give me inventory size. Okay. That's something to think about. Um, but for now, we're under attack again. Can I do filter inserters yet? No, I need plastic. Oh no, that's a stack inserter. Filter inserter. Yes, I can do two of those. Awesome. So we go filter inserters here. Because I want to make sure that these boxes don't get anything... So I want plastic. So these last two boxes are only going to pick up plastic, and that's it. down and that is the start of our plastic production excellent so so far we have gained a little bit of vengeance which is good as long as this works no it didn't work right yep there we go now it worked I had it set up the wrong way okay oh Okay, crap. I didn't think about that. Okay, hold on. Let's redo this. And then we'll put the filters at this end. So we'll get the plastic before it comes in. Plastic. And... Plastic. Oh boy, okay. That's... That's an issue. That's really dumb. Okay. Uh, so what if I go... I'd put priority left... with plastic. Will that work? Think that fixed it? Yeah, that's good. Awesome. Right. Now, as I tried to say five minutes ago, thank you all for watching. We're going to end it here, and we'll continue on in the next episode. Bye bye.